What's going on, XDA and YouTube? Super Bass here, and this is going to be a video guide on how to use multi boot for the Huawei Senmate 2. And SHM is the one who ported it over for us, so give him a big thanks. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the XDA form, and this thread right here created by SHM, it's multi boot patcher, and it's under the Huawei Senmate 2 form. I'll also leave a link to it, obviously. But once you're on page one, you're going to want to scroll down past the spoilers, and here's the APK file right here. So you're going to want to click it. It's going to want to download and install. So let's go ahead and do that. So once it's downloaded and installed, before you open it, I want you to do something. I actually want you to move that app to your external SD card. And the reason we're going to do that is because when you install a custom ROM, I mean another ROM, you're still going to need to install this app back onto the, you know, the new ROM you're going to install, and that's how you swap between them. So if you put this app on your external SD card, you don't need to go download it and, you know, install find it again it's just already on your SD card ready to install so let's cut that out and we're gonna want to put that right on my SD card and I'm gonna paste it right to the root yes I already have it but I'll overwrite it okay so now that that's done we copied over the app to our SD card we're gonna want to open it for the first time now the first thing you need to do you need to follow these steps is that we're gonna go down the road here we're gonna go to ROMs that's the first one, the top one. You're going to want to allow root access. And this is a very important step right here. It's going to want to set your kernel as your primary ROM. So, yes, we're going to want to set it. Now the app knows that this is your primary ROM, okay? So, that's done with the ROMs. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go to ROM settings. See where it says update RAM disk? The RAM disk currently does not have any version of MB tool. All you got to do is just click it. Successfully update. Reboot it now. So why this is restarting, just to recap, we've downloaded the dual boot patcher, we've installed it, and then we've moved the APK file we downloaded to the external SD card so we can install it again later on our new ROM. After that, we went to ROM and we updated our kernel, then we went to the ROM settings tab and updated our RAM disk, and now the phone's rebooting. Nothing too hard so far. Okay, now that our phone's, our phone's booted back up, let's go back into the app. Here it is, dual boot patcher. Okay, now just to confirm that our RAM disk did take. Yes, it did. The RAM disk is already up to date. So now, the dual boot patcher app itself is set up and ready to go. You've installed the app, you've set the kernel, and you've set the RAM disk. Now, going forward, you're just going to install a custom, you know, another ROM. So, I'm going to cut the video here, and then I'm going to create another video that shows you how to create a ROM.